Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Gemini Love Prediction Reading for May 27th through June 2nd. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my read or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humble, honored, and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on. With my loving, kind, sweet, fun, kind, compassionate Geminis. Show me spirit guides. What's going on my Geminis? Jimmies, what you got going on? Show me spirit guides. Page of Wands. The Death Card. Four of Swords, Ten of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Huh. You can't marry this person. You can't you just simply can't marry them. Um, you want to, you're in love with them, you love them, but they've shown you something that, um, hmm, they've shown you something. They, 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 they've shown you something that you know you can't deal with. Um, this is a person that is very aggressive. He's very aggressive. Um, let's look at the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is the very first uh, card in this read. Page of Wands is a very free-spirited person. I even look at the Page of Wands as being a Gemini. Page of Wands likes to learn, likes to do things, likes to go scuba diving, whatever you're, likes to learn how to uh, cook, uh, maybe something, a different Mediterranean food, anything. They are all about learning and being free-spirited and allowing themselves to learn and grow and have just a, a, no, a nonchalant, just um, everyday happy attitude. That's what the Page of Wands does, and that's to me, is a Gemini card. But here's this, next to this Page of Wands is this Death card, which is a Scorpio. Sc uh, represents, excuse me, the Scorpio sun sign. And the Death card is all about transformation. Transformation. Because, see, the Death card is all about transformation, and I do see also here the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is about taking a time out, a break. A break. There's a contemplation. That something, this person, whomever this is, your energies don't match. It's something with this person. It's, it's, they want to marry you. I do see that with the Ten of Cups here. They look at you as they're happily ever after. But your energy don't match. The, the energy just doesn't match. It doesn't. And they're very aggressive where you're more laid back. You enjoy life, and, and they're very, very aggressive. This could be, and I'm not saying that every Scorpio is, is um, aggressive, but this could be a Scorpio person. This just could be someone, could be anyone, because the death card does represent the Scorpio sun sign. But the four of swords is in the middle of your reading, so that means to me there's a break. There's a break, and it's next to the ten of cups. You're not going to marry them. You're not going to marry them, and, and, and I'm going to be very... Um, this person also, you, you are, I think that you're just a little bit afraid of them. I do. I think they're so assertive and so aggressive. I'm not quite sure. And I'm not, I don't think, I don't see that they really put their hands on you. But this five of wands lets me know there's always conflict with you guys. Not just conflict, there's always um, a very aggressive conflict. And I think that he kind of he scares you sometimes. I want to be very honest. But you can't marry him, and you know you can't marry him. And I think you're um, you're contemplating how you're going to let him know, how you're going to tell him that, hey, I can't marry you. I can't marry you, and I, I and I understand because when I see this five of wands next to this ten of cups, it's not going to change. When people show you who they are, believe them. You are believing that. You see now. You see. You see because you know you were in love and you still love them. I'm not saying you don't, but you know that you can't be in a long-term committed marriage with them to death do you part now. You see that because, see, 
you are a free spirit. You like doing things. You like being uh, spontaneous. You, your, you, this, you and this person's spirits clash. You don't have the same spirit with this person. You don't have the same energies. You can have everything. You don't have the same energies, unfortunately. And, you know, they say opposites attract. And, yeah, okay, I'll see that. I'll take that for some things. But when it comes to just the energies and how you love and how they love, you and this person love differently. You just don't have the same energies, and he's aggressive. You don't have that type of energy. You're more laid back. You're more spontaneous. You're more loving life. Um, he's he's rigid. He's non-flexible. So give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading. Let me just clarify the reading. Let's see um, what's going on here. Show me spirit, guys. Let me clarify the reading. Show me spirit, guys. Sit back, relax. Sit back, relax. Um, Gemini's, and let's see what's going on here. Why is this page of wands here? Show me spirit, guys. Why is the page of wands here? Show me spirit, guys. Ooh, excuse me, your cards are falling. Let's see here. Let's see. Two of Cups. I told you, you love this man. You're in love with this man. You and this man, you know, um, can't keep your hands off of each other. I think you have public displays of affection. All of the above. I think you are what he doesn't have. You gave him what he doesn't have, but he doesn't necessarily give you what you don't have. You give him what he needs, but I don't see him giving that back to you. Um, But I do see, like I said, um, on one at one time you were on the same page. Um, you know, you were doing the same things. Um, you have public displays of effects. You couldn't keep your hands off each other. There was love. Two of cups. There, were, there was love here. And there's still love here. So let's see why the death card is here. But the love has changed. The love has changed and it's transformed. Let's see why this death card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Ten of wands. Ten of wands. I told you. Issues. Energies. Your energies are, are different. Your energies are not the same. And you know that you've got to let him know that you, you can't marry him. You can't. You simply can't, Gemini. You might love him, <clears throat> but you can't marry him. This um, And you you look, it's over the death card, which is about transformation. These energies, this ten of wands, he's a burden to you. There's issues here. But you know, it's the, the, it's the ten. So you're releasing these issues and these burdens. Yeah, that's why this breakup card is here, this four of swords. You're transforming, you're changing. He is no longer, your, nope, you're not holding on to this anymore. You're not holding on to these negative energies and these burdens. So show me why the Four of Swords is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Four of Swords here? Show me spirit, guys. Queen of Swords. Told you. You know, you've got this energy, this Queen of Swords energy. Queen of Swords can be... Uh, I'm going to tell you, Queen of Swords can be so much... Sometimes a straight up itch. You know what I'm saying. Queen of Swords has an energy of yes or no. There is no middle ground with the Ten of Swords. You know that you don't want this. You know that it's yes or no for you. And right now it's a no with him. It's a no. It's a no. She, you know, she can be sometimes bitter. Please don't be bitter, Betty. Please don't be a bitter Betty. Please don't be a bitter Mary. Please don't be a bitter Shaquita. Whatever. Don't be bitter. But you have every right to stand up. For yourself and say, I know what I want and it's not you. I know what it's I want and it's not you. You're too aggressive. You're too he's too aggressive. He's inflexible. Our energies just don't match. So let's see why the Ten of Cups is here. Show me. Spirit guys. Show me why the Ten of Cups is here. Show me, Spirit guys. And remember the source energy is about mental energy. And it's over the four of swords, too. This is all mental. You know. I mean, it's it's all coming from your headspace. So let's see. Show me spirit, guys. Why is this um, Ten of Cups here? Show me. There's that fool card. I told you. You you want a new beginning and not with him. <laughs> you want a new beginning and not with him. You can't marry him. You want a new beginning. He's not the one. He's not the one. You want a new beginning. So let's see why the Five of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. And I think this Five of Wands is not so... He is aggressive, but I think the Five of Wands is just you um, fighting with him, trying to let him know, I don't, I, wanna, I don't want to marry you. I don't want to marry you. So let's see. Why is it, uh, the uh, Five of Wands here? And you know, this started out a great relationship. It really did. But you know, when people show you who they are, believe them. And I think you see that now. 
So let's see why the uh, Five of Wands is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the Five of Wands here? Uh-oh. I see the High Priestess. Well, well, when I see the High Priestess, that's the other woman. That's the other woman. I, and, and I'll say it again. I do believe it was another woman in this relationship. That's the other woman. The High Priestess is the other woman. That's what the fight is about. There's another woman here. Yeah, you're a free spirit and you do all these things, but you're no dummy. You're not d no dummy. You can't marry him because you have found, I think you found something out about another woman. Because that high priestess, she's a secret. She's a secret. She's a secret love. And that's why this fighting is here. He's very aggressive, though, about it, though. You know, he wants you to just forgive. He, please forgive me for getting to move on, but you're not, mm -mm. I, I can see very clearly you're not about to do that. You're not about to be with someone that cheats on you. You're not about to be with someone, even though you, you know, you can be a free spirit. Yeah, yeah, you can, and you're going to forgive, but you know, you don't forget that, and you're and you're not going to marry him. Better to find out how he is in the beginning than to marry him and understand, because he does have secret loves, and that's why this fighting is going on. He's very aggressive about this as well. Let's start at the very beginning. The page of wands. Here's a page of wands. This is you're very free spirited, enjoying life, all is well. That's you and him together, just being the energy around you guys, spontaneous, loving. You know, can't keep your hands off each other. Unity, togetherness. Whole night, public displays of affection. Everybody's like, oh, when you walk in, you know what I'm saying. But there's this Scorpio card here, this death card. There's a transformation that's going on. And here's the Ten of Wands. This burden you're not dealing with anymore. He's been a burden. He's a burden. He's a burden to you. And I mean, you, I see why now. You're taking a time out. You, this is a breakup. This is a breakup. Here's the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is yes or no. Queen of Swords is no gray matter in between. Queen of Swords can be bitter, but it's all about she's not putting up with any more riffraff, any more issues. Any, you're not putting up with it anymore. And here it is. You cannot marry him with this Ten of Cups here. This Ten of Cups is here. You cannot marry him because here's the Fool card. And the Fool card means you want a new beginning without him. You want a new beginning without him because here's this Five of Wands. Conflicts. You know why there's conflicts? Because there are other people in your relationship. There's another woman in your relationship. That high priestess is there. That's that secret. That's why there's conflicts. He's aggressive about that, but it doesn't matter. You still saying, I don't want to be with you. So let's see what my oracles have to say. Show me, spirit guides. What do my oracles have to say? Let's see. What do my oracles have to say about this relationship? What do my oracles have to say? Let's see. Let's see. Well, I'm going to pull this because I'm going to say, well, it came out. Peaceful resolution. Yeah, it's tense right now, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Right now, it's tense, but it's going to be okay. Well, they also say there's something better. There's something better. Oh, they are saying no to this relationship. No to this relationship. No to this relationship. And they're saying big happy changes. And that's what that new beginning is for. Big happy changes in your life. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Gemini.